Okay, sorry, I ran out of space on my iPad there, so the video stopped part way through. So here's uh, part two in this thrilling series about the Research Methodologies Day School. So um, what I decided was to try to give the students a quick and easy way to replicate this kind of poster during the day school. And of course they don't have to stick with this layout, they don't have to use hexagons in their final piece and we can make that clear to them that it can be whatever layout they want, they can use whatever shapes they want, as long as they keep these six elements like that. Uh, and so what I decided to do was to kind of print off on a sheet of A4 a hexagon and cut it out so that you can start to give trainees the opportunity to assemble these hexagons in whatever format they want to use and I think that's potentially a really useful way in which to do because if you imagine that you've got four or five people working together um, and the first hexagon is the choice of topic well you might have three or four different topics that could potentially be developed into a poster and doing it in this way means that you don't have to choose that right at the start because throughout the day you could interchange different topics and similarly with you know if you get along to the methodology part that you could have case study and then a little bit later you could think oh actually is this case study or is it action research and so you can swap things in and out throughout the day and you can change the configuration and some of that could be useful in getting students to link between for example the literature review and the methodology chosen so what are the links between those two how are they congruent with each other or between the research questions and the topic itself. So we could talk a lot about congruence and about having to have something that kind of relates together as a whole. And I think that that would be a useful and valuable thing to do as well. Now, the other adaptation that I've kind of come across or, or thought of is um, the notion that what trainees, I don't know if I said this in the earlier video, forgive me if I'm repeating myself, I can't remember what I said in that, but the idea that trainees talk in very articulate um, and passionate ways about what they're going to do, but when they come to write about it in the poster or they um, write about it in their report, it loses some of that kind of immediacy and confidence an articulateness that they show actually in the classroom and so something is lost in the transition from talk to writing and um, I've been involved in devising a kind of way of capturing talk as writing for the PGCE Cert Ed uh, and it kind of looks like this so I've done a quick sort of sketchy handout about it about turning talk into writing and what you've got is people working in a team of three so you have a proposer who's going to share and explain their idea for a research topic You've got a questioner who's going to ask questions about it. Uh, what's the topic? Why choose it? Who are your participants? What's the context? What do you hope to achieve? And so on. And then really importantly, you have a separate scribe. So you're not asking the questioner to also write things down or you're not asking the proposer to write things down. You've got this third wheel, if you like, who captures the essence of the conversation in note form. And they can abbreviate, they can bullet point, they can draw diagrams and pictures they can make spelling mistakes, they're all allowed. And then that piece of writing is kind of given as a gift to the proposer and as a prompt for what they might end up putting on one of these hexagons or they might end up putting it in their final poster. Clearly, they